Cold brew. I love it. I'm addicted to it. I need it. But one place that really like just gives me the goose is Starbucks. But the issue is, is Starbucks is too dang expensive. So we are going to make our own. Let's get into it. What is up? My name is Ryan. How we doing? I used to work as a barista at Starbucks for 10 years and there are multiple ways to make the cold brew. The cold brew I think released in maybe 2013 and it was awesome. I think it was actually 2016. So what they would do is take some coffee beans, put it in a tub, cover it in water, tie it up, wait 24 hours and boom, you got your coffee. But they changed it to this new automatic way that's immersion blending, which is basically the coffee is sitting a little bit more loose for a good amount of time and then it automatically pours. So we're gonna find out which way is better and luckily both are cheaper than Starbucks. So we're gonna try it. Now this is the tried and true method that a lot of people do for their coffee. So to figure out how Starbucks does it, break it down and give it to you, I actually had to do a lot of math. I had to figure out how many grams of water to how many grams of coffee. And the issue is Starbucks does liters and pounds of coffee. Those are two different things. So I found out what they had, converted all of it, and I got to an answer. So here's how many parts of coffee you need to how many parts of water. We're gonna take that and we are going to measure out our coffee first. Once you get all your coffee measured, you're gonna then put it in a brew bag. Don't worry, all the links for everything you need are gonna be in the description down below. Also too, my affiliate store will be down there as well in case you just want coffee gear in general. Once you get your coffee in there, you then start pouring half the amount of water that you need on top of those grounds, tie up the bag, and then pour the rest of the water on top. Then all you gotta do is let this sit for about 20 hours and you're good to go. But now we have the immersion method. This is going to be a little bit similar to this method, but using another tool. First up, all you need is a French press, no bag needed. This is gonna save you a lot of money. And although the bags that I chose are decomposable and eco-friendly, this is gonna be nicer for the environment. We're gonna do the same parts, water to coffee ratio, and throw it into our French press. We don't have to worry about the order in which we pour it now, we're just gonna throw it all in. Once we're done, we're then going to mix it all up, make sure all the ground are nice and amalgamated. Swirling in your mouth, breaking apart and combining again in a fugue of sweets and savory so delightful. I don't know if that's the proper word for that. They're all gonna be loving each other. And then we take the top, we put it on, we don't push it down. Don't rush it. It's supposed to be a rewarding experience when it's time to have the cold break. And then you set it on your counter for 20 hours. Once you get to the 20 hour mark, you're going to take the plunger, you're gonna push it down on your French press, you're gonna pour it into a separate container because you don't wanna keep the coffee in. The longer you keep the coffee in the water, the more it's brewing. And then once you do that, you're gonna add equal parts of water because it is a concentrate, so you wanna make sure that it's finished and you're good to go. Now, for the bagged coffee, all you gotta do is take the bag, throw it away, and then add water. You already have your container. Ugh, I got them. Here they are. It, it seemed cool to come back with them to be like, it's done. I don't know, Martha Stewart style. Shout out. Okay, so we're gonna try each of these, see which one's better, um, and go from there. So I accidentally uh, was already using my other tasting cup and should have used it in a different style cup. But you know, you live and you learn. All right, so here's the French press method. Smells very aromatic. Kind of got some like peanut butter aftertones, which I really like. That's the French press method. Oh, we got a mess, we got a mess, we got a mess, we got a mess. It's like it never happened. Make sure you uh, cut that out. They don't see my mistake. So make sure you cut out the me cleaning up and all that stuff. Thank you. French press, bagged coffee. Which one's gonna be the way to go? So I don't know if it's like the shape of it, kind of like doing that outward thing, but this smell is more aromatic than this guy, which is weird. I did not expect a scent difference. It's good, it's a little bitter. Um, to me, it just tastes like very strong iced coffee. Holy, this is better. This is a lot better. Not by much. Hold on, let me swish some water around or something. Like double check my palate's fully clean. Yeah, this has more flavor. This one just tastes like, I didn't expect it to be a big difference. I did, I thought there'd be like a slight flavor note change. It's less even flavor notes. They both relatively taste the same. It's kind of like a 2005 to 2006 car. There's not much difference between the two. They're just a year apart. I don't know why I chose 2005. I couldn't even drive then. I barely even think then. I do recommend getting a French press. I think you should always have a French press in your arsenal and getting the bagged coffee in a couple of mason jars and trying out both for yourself because they are two different experiences. It's kind of crazy. I used the same coffee. I used the same water from the same tap. I did the same exact amount and it's different. So what would I choose? I would choose the old school tried and true Starbucks way. It, it, I just feel like it's more flavorful. Um, it has more going on. In reality though, 
They both work fine. I wanna also add right now, it was so much easier to do the bad coffee than the French press coffee because the French press coffee, you had to clean it, you had to take everything out. It was all this extra stuff that I personally wasn't a big fan of. But this, 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 was, the French press was a lot harder. That's the main reason why I'm going to the bag. They're so similar that like, honestly, whatever method you want, if you need to save money and you go French press, go for it and you're willing to do the extra work. But also too, the bags, I got like, I think 200 bags for about $8.99. I could be wrong on the price and I could be wrong on the amount, but holy crap. The fact that it's over a hundred and being around like eight bucks is amazing. This coffee is probably better than Starbucks. I'm super pumped about this and I'm saving so much money doing it. My name's Ryan, drink better coffee and have a good day. Peace out.